students today we are going to discuss a special topic how do you implement plus and equal to operators between two objects so in order to make you understand this i again start with an integer main function and you have a class which is defined as student now as the color indicates both both are two different families and they can't talk each other unless you have the public section which is able to share this into the main now let's see you have the private section here and public section here now let us say we have an object which is called student some name selvi and we are passing the age of the student and let's say the mark of the student the first object you have created out of the class let's also assume that you have another student which is also created in the name of let's say joby there we have the age is 23 and mars is again 100 now you want to suppose implement selvi equal to joby that means the age and the marks which are the private variables here that is integer age and integer marks which are now automatically copied between these two objects how do you implement this so to do this you have to use a concept called operator equal to operator now how do you implement that you know that any constructor default constructor is written like this and in the name of the class and you can write whatever you want within this now let's say you have a constructor with arguments here i can give any name to this because it is let's say integer sorry integer a comma integer m and inside this you are writing let's say let's say h is equal to a and marks is equal to m see this so that means you have a default constructor and a constructor with argument and a constructor with is argument he is going to work here 30 and 100 would go inside each object separate marks and ages now in order to implement selvi is equal to joby that means to implement this part what you need to do is you have to create an operator equal to how do you implement that how do you implement that function you have to say operator plus sorry equal to that is what you are trying to make then you can pass here a type of student and you can say ampersand s earlier i discussed actually if there is a variable so like integer star a integer ampersand a like that you can pass actually into a function this i already discussed while discussing about pointers if you are not seen you may go back to the basic pointer 
videos which I already talked about earlier. Now, what it is going to return is also a student type. Student operator equal to and inside this what you are going to write is h is equal to s has come here s dot h then marks is equal to s dot marks so that means you are now able to implement cell v is equal to joby that means this is how you can implement object 1 is equal to object now you another another thing you have to do since this is returning something into a student see it is coming back here as a student type you have to also return here saying that return you have to say return star this star this that means you are basically returning the this this pointer is like what is coming in and whatever is returning through return star this will make this function work like cell v is equal to job now let us consider a case that we have to implement cell v plus joby now let's say equal to let's say new function new new uh, let's say new object let's say you have a student c so i can that c is equal to student c i can always say c is equal to cell v plus job and this plus can be implemented similar way the only difference would be the only difference would be you here you will say okay let us write this function at this point at this point since there is no space here i am going to write it here so that it will be clear to you it is like you have to say operator plus now instead of equal to then what you have to pass you have to pass student let's say ampersand b and then what it has to return at this point here what you need to write is you can say student type and ampersand also that means it is going to return a pointer how do you implement this function you are going to implement this function like this you have to create a temporary variable student let's say t after that you will say t dot age is equal to age plus b dot age again same way you will say t dot marks equal to marks plus b dot marks after that you will say return t so that means similar to how you wrote actually equal to part actually using operator similar way you are now you have created the function you created the function which look like this you can see that it look like this this much part 
That means the only thing it is returning as total ampersand. It's like sometimes you write now integer ampersand. That means it's returning the object itself and it is being caught here in the form of ampersand. So you can always write C is equal to cell V plus Joby. So it will return whatever is being returned answer is coming into C. Let us now practically see how you can implement this in a C++ program. Now let us take the example of uh, uh, let us start a new C++ program. So in order to make you understand I am you know again cutting and pasting like this here. And after that I am creating let's say a class family. I am creating a class family so you can uh, okay uh, I am sorry actually I, I probably would like to uh, show you this example that will be let's create a student that is what I was explaining earlier student class where you have the private variables as this. Now you have the constructor with argument. This is what it is, which was looking like this. You are passing A and B, like I explained some time before. Now, now I say. Now I, I can say a display function also you can add to this because you probably will like to you know display the final output so that also you can add. Now how do you implement the plus function? So in order to implement the plus function it would be something like this uh, ok here it is uh, oh I am sorry actually I have uh, messed up the stuff a bit uh, ok Okay, uh, this is the one. This is the one. Let's say you have the function for operator equal to. This is how you are done. Now, that is for the operator. Operator plus. then for the the operator plus you are going to take this and you know use it student ok uh, this is for the family so I have to create this for the student so let us say for the student let's create ok I have messed up a bit ok this was the one which I wanted to take this is like the operator plus was implemented so this is the one student operator plus one so this also I put it inside same thing which we discussed 
in the whiteboard. Now all these things you are done. Now you can simply close the class and you can say integer main here. and you can always create okay this two objects after that I can say if you want to display them you can display these two words otherwise you can simply say you can create a combined one and use you can add them together and you know you can get so here if you execute this now now the program looks like this symbol these two lines are required for C++ you are a student you are age and Mars and uh, if you want you can uh, have a student constructor which was looking like this it's a default constructor which I didn't use now the student you are passing the age and marks of the student it's like this line will get executed whenever you say this it's like this 23 and 100 will get added after that I have implemented display function to just display it's like here display wage and marks and this was the most important thing student operator equal to was you know suppose a is equal to b or job1 job1 is equal to job2 so then the second object get passed here and gets copied like this and you return to c is equal to let's say let's say a is equal to b gets implemented object 1 is equal to object 2 like this and object 1 plus object 2 can be implemented same way you create a temporary object and then add them together and return now let's execute this let's give a name let's say new something let's say something now you can see that actually what is being displayed age is 53 mark is 200 age is 53 that means these two are added and these two also got added in between one message came because I purposefully had put to demonstrate the called this pointer see whenever you do this actually I wanted to see what is the this pointer doing in this this pointer is showing basically this age itself see that this is also called this is called this age actually so that is why this is the pointer which is hidden and that is how it works so I want I want to again show you that the output actually this age is 53 and you can see that both gets added up so you this is how you implement Uh, uh, see the final one after doing cell V plus job the plus got implemented after that I just display it and here we have demonstrated how we can use plus and equal to operators with multiple objects thank you